out there, Ryan. This is going to help us reduce our sap down to syrup. It's a turkey fryer. Sweet. Welcome back to our syrup making journey. And today I'm going to start out by reducing some maple sap and try to make maple syrup with it. I have about two gallons and we have a game changer today. We have a turkey fryer burner and a special stainless steel pan so we can make this happen outside a lot easier than how we were doing it before with our propane torch uh, <laughs> kind of makeshift hooked up to my coal grill and yeah this is gonna be a whole lot better I think this is what I have set up it's a turkey fryer burner and I have it surrounded by some cinder blocks and our special stainless steel pan resting on top of those cinder blocks um, I'm gonna filter my sap it's through a gold filter to get out any debris and this is going to be even more, um, a lot quicker than how we were doing it before, which is good. Uh, we like things to not take as much time. Okay, I filtered one of the gallons through, and you can kind of see some of the stuff that came out of it, the debris. There's even a few bugs in there. And this is stuff that just ends, ends up in the buckets as you're collecting the sap, and you definitely don't want that in your syrup. So filtering out debris particles and also pectin that becomes way more important with the walnut sap than it does the maple this is maple that I'm working with right now okay y'all it's been about 10 or 15 minutes I came back over here to check on it and we have a nice little simmer going and it's starting to smell pretty good All right, I'm headed out to the maple tree. I'm gonna harvest what's left of the sap. This might be one of the last worthwhile harvests that we get off of this maple tree. I'm gonna add it to what I'm reducing right now and have it contribute to our syrup. Okay, my assistant here, Liam, is holding the funnel into the jug. We're going to empty the contents of the brew bucket. I've got two hoses going into it. That third hose is a non-producer. Uh, there's been no sap coming out of it. So, not sure how much we're going to get. Let's see. We've got a spider. You got a spider? Yep. You think they're tasty like syrup? Nope. Nope. Well, not as much as I was hoping for. It looks to be about a third of a gallon. Yeah, between a quarter and a third of a gallon. So we will add that to what I'm already boiling off. And also take the spider out. Yes, I'll filter it, of course. This tree is just oozing with sap from all the holes oh my goodness that the sap suckers make if only we could get that sap as well i bet we would have a lot more in our bucket This is what has been reduced so far. 
today out of those first two gallons that I've added. Um, you can see I have it on an angle. So this, this end of the pan is barren and go down further, see the boil, and then you can see that it's actually turning brown uh, with what's left. We just want to get it to a point where we can take it in the house and finish it off uh, so we don't have to steam up the whole house. So I'm going to add the third of a gallon that I harvested off of that tree and then once it gets to a point where I got about a quarter gallon, I'll pour it into a jar and take it inside and we'll reduce it from there. Okay y'all, this is where we're at now and this is from just over two gallons of sap. So I'm gonna turn the heat off, let this cool down. I'm gonna pour it in the mason jar. I'm gonna filter it and we will reduce it further in the house with what we've done already at a later date. Okay, I'm gonna take the reduced sap and I'm gonna pour it through this special filter that comes with um, maple syrup making uh, kit. It's a special filter. It'll help filter out um, impurities and pectin and other debris. And then we can take it in the house and we will reduce it from there later. Okay, now I'm gonna repeat the process that I've already showed y'all and I'm doing it with the black walnut sap and I have two gallons of black walnut sap that I'm gonna reduce down so we can make syrup out of it as well okay much later in the day you can tell by the shadow going over the pan but now I've added black walnut sap and got the heat going we're gonna cook it down hopefully uh, by before bedtime I should have this reduced down enough to bring it to the house. 